This patient was referred to me for endodontic retreatment of tooth number 13. According to the patient, the root canal was done 10 years ago, maybe even a little bit longer, she said. And patient says, tooth doesn't hurt. It's just that sometimes when she goes to brush it, then um, tooth is sensitive when she tries to brush the area. And um, uh, she also, in the past few few weeks, noticed has noticed a, a pimple, a bubble on, on her gum. So she went and saw her dentist, and her dentist referred her to us. So take a look here. You can see a crown on the tooth. The patient, by the way, says the crown is about two years old. Prefab metal post, previous root canal, and a large periapical relucency here. All right, so let's open this tooth up. This is another angulation of the tooth. This is yet another angulation. Again, you can see the prefab metal post and two canals here and the periapical relucency there. And this is another angulation. So when I examined the tooth, tooth was slightly tender to percussion. There was a buccal parulus and sinus tract associated with the tooth. Let me show you. So that's the tooth here, as you can see, and take a look. That's the buccal parulus and sinus tract. And I want you to pay attention to where this, where, where this is. So you can see the location of this sinus tract right here. Usually if there's a sinus tract that is, that is associated with um, a, a tooth, uh, with previous root canal or, or not a pre not no previous root canal but um, uh, there's an infection usually you find the sinus tract more superiorly correct so this should be a tell uh, a sign for you still not a, a, a 100 percent sign but a, but a sign for you that you need to consider perhaps a um, split tooth vertical root fracture things of this nature the location of the sinus tract all right so let's go ahead and and uh, and probe this tooth okay all right so let's start from the mesiobuccal right here you can see i'm getting a one or two millimeters and then right where the sinus tract is right at the marginal gingiva of the tooth look i can just push this probe and it'll probably go to nine plus millimeters so you saw the probing and that's why it's so important that every tooth every tooth should be probed also before you put a brand new crown on a tooth Make sure you take a PA. This periapical relucency, this based on the size of it, I can tell that it's been there for a long time. Patient says the crown is about two years old. So whoever did the crown didn't take a PA. If they took a PA, they would have been able to see this, the periapical relucency. So whoever did this uh, crown two years ago, unfortunately didn't take a PA and missed this. All right, so as you can, as you saw, based on the location of the sinus tract and also based on the probing, this tooth is not salvageable and I recommend that extraction. So patient will contact her dentist to have the tooth, to have the tooth extracted. So as you can see, it's very important to probe every single tooth, percussion, palpation, a full inspection of the of this hard tissue and soft tissue, good mul multiple angulations, radiographs, and of course, probing. Probing is a must. You must probe. If I hadn't probed this tooth, I would have missed. I would have missed. I would have misdiagnosed. My misdiagnosis would have led this patient to redo the root canal, redo the crown. And of course, redoing the root canal, then the crown would have cost the patient and also pain and suffering and time, her time in the dental chair, not only at my office, but also at, the, at her dentist's office. 
So all of that cost, all of that pain and suffering, all of that time would have been wasted. 